So acromegaly is a disease primarily caused by pituitary tumors that secrete growth hormone. I think we all know that when you're a child or a teenager and you're growing taller, you need growth hormone uh, to grow. Uh, but even as an adult, your body still makes growth hormone and it seems to be important for maintaining things like skeletal muscle and strength and energy and fatigue uh, uh, and preventing fatigue and things like that. Um, so that's a normal part of the pituitary gland. There are cells that secrete growth hormone. Um, and acromegaly arises when, when those cells develop into a tumor. Uh, these tumors are, are located in the pituitary gland, which is a small gland kind of off the base of the brain that really sits sort of behind the, behind the nose or behind the eyes is where it's actually located. Um, and when uh, these tumors form, and, and by the way, they're benign tumors almost always, they're almost never cancers. Uh, they're benign tumors, but they, but they cause problems because they make hormones. Um, and what happens when the body as an adult um, has too much growth hormone, there are parts of the body that can still grow. So for example, mostly cartilage, so, so the nose, the ears, um, some, and some of the bones like in the feet and the hands can, can still grow. Um, so you'll see people that have acromegaly have very uh, large ears. Uh, they tend to have very prominent sort of brow uh, brow ridges, uh, and also the chin is, is uh, another part of the body that, that still grows, typically in people, even when they're adults. Um, and these are some of the features. And the other, the other thing that, that we see frequently in adults that have acromegaly is, is uh, growth of the hands and the feet. So for, for people that wear rings, uh, they'll notice a change in their ring size, or people often notice a change in their shoe size. Um, and you know, it's more than just going from one brand of shoe to the other brand of shoe that you know, your size may change. But if, the, if you're wearing the same shoe and it, it's growing over time, uh, that, may, that may be a sign of acromegaly. Um, obviously, if, if uh, a child has acromegaly before they've reached their full adult height, they'll, they'll continue to grow taller. And that's why you have people that are, that are giants and actually can be due to, to acromegaly. Uh, people like like Andre the Giant was a, was very, very well known, and, and actor Richard Keel um, also had uh, had acromegaly. The guy who played Jaws in, in many of the James Bond films. Um, usually, the diagnosis is, is made by an endocrinologist, um, often someone that has you know some expertise in, in pituitary diseases. But but you know most endocrinologists are, are familiar with the condition. Um, you know, sometimes you see a very, very astute uh, primary care doctor can, can suspect the diagnosis and often can start the workup. The other thing that we sometimes see is actually a dentist actually make the, the, can make the diagnosis or, or suggest a diagnosis because one of the other things that happens is the, because the jaw can grow a little bit, the, the uh, teeth, patient teeth tend to start to spread a little bit. Uh, and I've seen, I, uh, I've seen that happen where, where someone sent to me by, by, a, um, by a dentist with, a, with either, the diagnosis made or, or a strong suspicion that that's what the patient has. Specific thing that I've seen is, is the changes in shoe size and ring size. Um, a lot of the other things are, are much more subtle. Um, and, I, and I think the other thing that, that's actually really helpful for people is if uh, a patient has a, you know, old, old, old photograph of themselves from you know, five or 10 years ago, whether that's a driver's license or, you know, a picture with friends or, or whatever. Now we, all carry around our cell phones, which, which have many years of photos on them, at least for most people. And, and often the physical changes, if, if you look, um, you, you can see them. Um, you know, obviously we all change as we get older, um, but particularly the, the prominence of the, of the, the chin and, and the brow line uh, and the coarseness of the features um, are something that can actually be, be noticed if, if you're looking for it.